Use your mouse or arrow keys to move around the 3D museum. Press Escape to return to the main menu. The sea fan may look like a plant, but it is really a collection of thousands of tiny animals which are closely related to corals and jellyfish. These animals live in polyps that are attached to branches made of a skeleton-like material. The branches of a sea fan are usually pointed in the direction of water currents carrying plenty of microscopic food on which the sea fan polyps feed. Anemones look like gentle underwater flowers. In fact, most anemones are meat-eaters that love to devour small fish and crustaceans. The anemone uses the stinging tentacles around its mouth to paralyze or kill its prey. Then the anemone will draw the animal into its mouth where it is digested over a period of several hours. Most anemones rarely move from one spot. Beginning when they are very young, anemones attach themselves to a piece of coral, rock, or the ocean bottom using a sticky pedal foot. Once the anemone is in that position, it must rely entirely on the food that happens to float by for its nourishment. Some anemones, however, can leap from their position when they are attacked or threatened. Inside a hydrocoral are thousands of tiny animals that feed on microscopic particles floating in the water. Hydrocorals are members of the large family of animals known as cnidaria. These sea creatures have stinging cells in their body which are expelled when they make contact with another surface. Anemones are a common sight in tide pools. They feed on the numerous small fish and crustaceans which make their home there. When the tide goes out, anemones seal themselves up so that they don't dry out in the air. As soon as the tide returns, the anemone opens back up. Coral animals can only grow in warm tropical seas where there is very little sediment in the water. That is because most corals depend on tiny algae which need lots of sunlight and live inside the corals' bodies. Soft corals are different from hard corals because they do not leave a tough skeletal material behind when they die. This brain coral looks as if it could be a large piece of rock. At night, however, the thousands of tiny coral animals living inside the brain coral will emerge from their polyps to feed on microscopic particles in the water. Sea lions may look lovable, but they have short tempers and will often bite a person if they are scared. Most sea lions live on rocky coastlines, such as those found in California, where the water is fairly cool. During the mating season, male sea lions are well known for their loud bark. The main difference between sea lions and seals is that the flippers of a sea lion act more like true legs and can be used to help the sea lion walk or even run on dry land. Manatees are slow-moving marine mammals that live in and near river estuaries. Manatees make very good parents, taking care of their babies for long periods of time. These peaceful animals live on a diet of sea grasses and other types of underwater plants. Manatees can grow as long as 15 feet and weigh as much as 1,300 pounds. Killer whales are intelligent and ferocious hunters. They swim in packs and eat sea lions and even other whales. For many years, people thought that killer whales were man-eaters. This has been proven to be quite untrue, though on occasion, a killer whale has been known to mistake a scuba diver for a sea lion. What a performance! When a humpback whale is in a playful mood, it can leap almost completely out of the water, landing with an enormous splash. During the winter months, humpback whales spend their days in tropical waters where they mate and give birth. When it is summer, though, humpback whales migrate to colder waters where they spend most of their time feeding on the abundance of animals floating in the water. Beluga whales, like all cetaceans, breathe air through a blowhole on the top of their head and give birth to live babies. They also have warm blood. 
Beluga whales spend most of their lives swimming in the colder waters of the Arctic Ocean. Beluga whales are rather slow swimmers and are often preyed upon by packs of killer whales. The blue whale is the largest living animal on the planet. It can reach lengths of 100 feet or more and weights of 130 tons. While blue whales may be giants, they are one of the gentlest creatures in the sea. They achieve their enormous size by feeding on tiny animals known as krill, which they filter through the baleen in their enormous mouths. Blue whales were nearly hunted into extinction by men who turned the blue whale's blubber into oil. Since the 1960s, however, the blue whale has been protected by an international agreement and the population of blue whales has slowly begun to recover. Dolphins are among the smartest animals on the planet. They swim in groups called pods and love to play. Dolphins are capable of learning very complex tricks and scientists have shown that they use simple means for communicating with one another. To find their way around the ocean, dolphins use something called echolocation. At frequent intervals, the dolphin emits a small click-like sound into the water. By listening to the returning echoes from the sound, the dolphin can determine the precise location of nearby objects. Harbor seals have to be careful when they are in the water. Predators such as killer whales love to eat seals for dinner, or breakfast and lunch for that matter. Harbor seals are only found in the northern hemisphere and generally prefer colder climates to warmer ones. The harbor seal's streamlined body makes it a fast, agile swimmer, but not very mobile on land. Each year, elephant seals gather in enormous groups to mate. At this time, the male elephant seals will engage in small fighting contests with one another to determine which male is the strongest. The winners of these battles will have the chance to mate with the female elephant seals. The losers must often wait another year until they are larger and stronger before they have an opportunity to mate. These battles can appear quite violent, but usually neither contestant is seriously hurt by them. So what's for dinner? The majority of sharks are not man-eaters, but some, like the great white shark, can be quite dangerous. Most divers prefer to be in a sturdy shark cage when studying these sharks. Sometimes even a shark cage is not enough protection. There have been cases of very large great white sharks that have broken through shark cages. Moray eels spend most of their time hiding in caves. When they are hungry, they will come out and snap up fish, squid, or crustaceans with their powerful jaws. Moray eels have a reputation for being dangerous to humans, but most moray eels will not attack a person unless they are provoked. The octopus can change the color of its skin to match its surroundings almost instantaneously. When an octopus is hunting, it will remain camouflaged until its prey is within reach. Then the octopus will strike out, grabbing its prey with its powerful arms. Once the octopus has caught its prey, it will inject it with a poison from its beak-like mouth. Get away! Get away! The great white shark is one of the most ferocious animals in the sea. It normally likes to eat seals, fish, and even dolphins, but occasionally will take a bite out of a person. Great white sharks can grow up to lengths of 20 feet, though some divers and fishermen claim to have seen great whites that measured as long as 35 feet. These terrifying fish are most commonly found in the temperate waters off of California, Australia, and the Horn of Africa. The white tip reef shark spends its days patrolling the waters around a coral reef. Many skin divers have been frightened by an overly curious white tip reef shark swimming nearby, but most reef sharks would never attack a person unless they were surprised or threatened. It's usually not a good idea to wear shiny objects in the same water where barracudas like to swim. Sometimes the barracuda will mistake the shiny object for a small fish and try to take a bite out of you. Barracudas can be found in tropical ocean waters all over the world. Their long, streamlined bodies make them fast swimmers capable of stopping and accelerating quite rapidly. When barracudas are young, they will often swim in large groups, but as they get older, they generally hunt by themselves or in small groups of two or three fish. The stingray has a sharp, spiny tail that it uses to kill small fish and other undersea animals.
To catch its prey, the stingray will cover itself with sand from the ocean bottom and then remain motionless until an unsuspecting fish or crustacean swims by. Sometimes divers are stung by a stingray that is hidden beneath the sand.